So with um, 31 days of posting, you're going to get some second and possibly third day hair, so it's going to be kind of questionable and flat and weird. <laughs> I tried to sleep with a braid last night, but my hair is still not long enough really to put it in like a braid for braid waves, which is kind of kind of why I want to cut it again. Cause like if it's not long enough for a braid, I have like a hard time with it. But I put like dry shampoo in my hair. But obviously, there's like no volume or anything. But um, this is not a hair video. <laughs> We're gonna do some lip swatches today. So Red Apple Lipstick has recently released a new collection. So they've got three new lip liners and. I believe two new lipsticks. I'm pretty sure one of these is a re-release. I think Reddish Fetish has been, maybe it was discontinued and it's just re-released. So there's three lipsticks and there's three lip liners. So to save on time, I'm not gonna be talking through each one of these. Um, I'll probably talk through one of the lip liners just to sort of give you application, just to give you sort of like notes on the application maybe, or like how I feel, um, like they feel on the lips or something like that. Cause I actually, I've. I've gotten their lip liners before, but I don't use lip liners regularly. Like that's not a thing that I usually use. It's just, I don't really feel like I need to. Plus most of the time I'm wearing, you know, like lip glosses or like lip serums these days. So there really is like no need for them. Um, <laughs> there's really no need for a lip liner. So um, the three lip liners that they released, I'm like trying to peel this plastic off, but that's like distracting. So they released Scarlet Red, which is a red. They released, um, Toasted Pink, and then Rich, yeah, Rich Orchid. So these should all be, these should all be good colors. So, and because I've never used these, I don't actually know if they'll stain, so let's swatch them first. So here is Toasted Pink, Rich Orchid, and Scarlet Red, all really pretty. So let's start with Nope, not Scarlet Red. <laughs> I'm trying to find Toasted Pink, there it is. So let's do Toasted Pink, and I'll probably, I'll fill in the whole lip area. So here is Toasted Pink. I mean, this is a pretty color on its own. Just like a nice neutral sort of like brown pink, I guess toasted pink sort of implies that. But yeah, I mean, they really don't feel like much once you put them on. It's almost like it's not even there. But um, it's easy to apply. I like the pencil. So now I'm just gonna skip through um, the last two. So Scarlet Red and Rich Orchid real quick, and then we'll get on to the lipsticks. Before I fix my foundation, you know, to put the last color on, someone tell me if this is normal. Do you see this? It's like weird. Hopefully I don't have any of my teeth. <laughs> but like, it's like, it's not bumpy. It's just like weird coloring of like dots. Ugh. I have no idea if that is normal or not, but it like, I'm like so self-conscious about my lips about it because it's just weird, right? Well, I can't see it now because I've put <laughs> foundation over the top of it, but let's do the last one. This is Scarlet Red. Okay, so here's the last one. Ignore the lip line on this one. I messed up and then I tried to fix it and then I made it worse, so. This is, <sighs> this is what it is. Um, so yeah, this is Scarlet Red. So if you, you know, need, are in need of a red lip liner, this is, I think, going to be a really good color for like, you know, most red lipsticks. I can't even apply lip liner cleanly. What is my life? <laughs> but yeah, this actually kind of reminds me of the color of the, the Love. What is the, the Love? I Am Love lipstick. 
the one from Mahalo, I forget what she what she's named it. It's something love. Power of love. No. I don't know. It sort of reminds me of that color. So now I'm just gonna take this off and we're gonna do the lipsticks, which hopefully I will apply better than the uh, lip liners. I'm just not a lip liner person. Um, but these are great if you are somebody who wants a lip liner and you've been looking for a red or sort of like a brown pink. I know I look nuts when I take away um, stuff that's on my lips when I haven't <laughs> fixed my foundation. Um, or like an orchid color. That orchid color was really pretty. And I actually think all three of these lipsticks pair really well with the lip liners um, based on like the pictures that I saw. So we're gonna test that. So we've got reddish fetish, which would go with the, the red. So I'm just gonna put it above it. Put it above the swatch. And then there's, ow, Spice and Easy, which I think will go with the toasted pink shade. Spice and Easy. And then there is Power Potion. Oh gosh, darn it. These boxes are sometimes so impossible to open and then I end up like slicing my fingers. Yeah, these all are gonna go almost like identically to the, um, yeah, again, not clean swatches, but well, the, the reddish one is not super red, but they're, you know, they have other red lipsticks that would match that really well, I think. But these two, I'm sure they were designed, you know, to go with these lip liners because they're near, they're like nearly identical. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with um, Spice. Spice and Easy. Spice and Easy. which will be a great nude, neutral color. Nice and creamy. I believe, are these all the instant color formula? Yeah. The, the new, the two uh, reddish fetish and spice and easy are both in the instant color formula and then power potion is in SS3. Is power potion a shade that's been here before? I wonder if, Power Potion is an older shade. I don't remember it, but it's in a, a formula that, um, I don't know, seems odd to me. But this is the Spice and Easy. The Spice and Easy lipstick. Is it just me or is this video like, not up to par with my usual lip swatch videos? <laughs> it's a hot mess. <laughs> But yeah, that's Spice and Easy. It's really pretty. It's like a great neutral shade if you're looking for something that's sort of like a toasted brown color. Okay, next I'm gonna do Reddish Fetish because I want to end on the other one. All right, so here is Reddish Fetish, which is like sort of a great, it's like brownie nude. It seems to be sort of like a theme in this collection is like sort of brownie, some other colors, brownie nudes, except um, Power Potion is not gonna be, it's not gonna be like that. But this is good. Again, it's another one if you want red, but you don't want like, in your face red. You just want like subtle red, like office red, like nice, but not like pinup red, you know? But I love pinup red too. It's been a while since I've worn it. I should wear a, I should wear a, a red lipstick soon. But yeah, this one's just reddish, reddish fetish. So now I'm going to do power, potion power, power potion. And I'm gonna try to do this one as cleanly as possible because this is the one we're gonna end on. Okay, so I think that's the best that we're gonna do, which is, it's not terrible. Could be cleaned up a little bit. Um, but this one is more matte than the other two. I think this one is just like, this one is matte. I forget what the SS stands for. I think it's always like summer. It was one of the summer collections, or maybe it was like spring, one of the spring collections, I can't remember, but if it's the matte formula, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, this is Power Potion, which is really pretty. Sort of like vampy for fall if you're into that kind of thing. I think it's a really pretty color. I really like it. So that is the winter collection from Red Apple Lipstick. I do believe they are running a special right now if you're interested in purchasing anything. I think they are doing 20% off your order through the 6th. Um, I'll leave all the details for any sales that are running down below. Um, but I also, I do believe I also have a 22% code 
If you are spending more than $50, which would which would save you more than the 20% off. So I don't know, I'll leave, I'll leave all the codes down below. Um, but if you only want one lipstick, the 20% off code um, is what's gonna, it's what's gonna do it for you. Um, but if you're looking to, to buy two or more lipsticks, then I think the 22% off code will work um, in your, it more in your favor, but um, I'll, I'll leave that down below and then you can determine if you wanna do some shopping at Red Opal Lipstick, you know, which one is the best to use. So, and then also to round out this video, um, for day three of my 31 days of green beauty giveaways, I will be giving away to one of you guys a $100 gift credit to Red Apple Lipstick. So if you've been ever looking to try Red Apple Lipstick, this is the perfect opportunity to do so um, because you will have $100 to spend, which with discount codes, I think you can get, you know, four lipsticks, you can get some, um, or you can get some eyeshadows. They do have eyeshadows as well. If you are unfamiliar with Red Apple Lipstick, they're a gluten-free makeup company. That is their sort of like claim to fame is that they're gluten-free. So they have eyeshadows, they have bronzer, they have blush, they have um, a lip scrub and a lip balm, they have lip liners, they have lipsticks, they have lip glosses. So they've got all kinds of all kinds of makeup. Um, so, oh, they have a mascara as well. A mascara and eyeliners, they do have those as well. So if you are in need of like gluten-free makeup specifically, if you are, if you're really, if you really have an issue with gluten and you can't even wear gluten on your face, um, they've got you covered, except in like the foundation department because they don't have that, but they've got all other kinds of gluten-free makeup. It's all great for sensitive skin. Um, they've got really wearable colors. They don't do any sort of like out there colors, you know, like blues or blacks or greens or for lipsticks, I mean. Um, their, their lipstick colors are all really, really wearable. Um, if you look on my channel, I've got lots and lots of Red Apple lipstick swatches from over the years because they were one of the first companies that I started to work with, you know, back in the day. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been working with Red Apple lipstick. And it's also been a really, really long time since I've partnered with them for a giveaway. I can't even actually remember if I ever have partnered with them for a giveaway. Away. This could be the first time or maybe it's it's either way It's been a long time if I have done one and I'm excited to give one of you guys a $100 in credit to Red Apple lipstick So you can pick up some new lipsticks for the winter so you can stock up on your favorites or you can try some stuff that's brand new to you that you've, if you've never tried Red Apple Lipstick. So also remember that I will be running the same giveaway over on Instagram. So if you want more than one entry, you are free to enter in both places. If you only watch YouTube, um, you just you know, enter here. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure my giveaways this year were accessible to everybody. So yes, that's all that I've got for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite color was if you had one. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one.